This looks good. This does look good. All right, guys, let's get going. Showtime. Showtime. All right, let me stop the music, and we're going to do a recap um, while we get going. You're going to see a live recap. Of course, time to upload this to YouTube. So, all right, let's get going. All right. Welcome back, everyone. For today's video, we have a great game that was played in the first title Tuesday of the year between none other than two world champions, or should I say two former world champions. Now, we have Vladimir Kranich, who's been very loud about, about chess.com. He's been talking about accusations of cheating. He said he will never play again on chess.com. And on the other side, we have Magnus Carlsen, who needs no introduction, having recently won the World Rapid Championship as well as the World Blitz Championship. So without further ado, let's jump right into the action. So we have this game being played in round number nine between Vladimir Kramnik and Magnus Carlsen. Kramnik with the white pieces. Now the game starts with a move e4. Now one thing that you guys will notice here is that Kramnik's time after this first move is down to one minute and 40 seconds. So what that means is that Kramnik showed up late to the game. He was clearly AFK or away from the keyboard as we like to say in young kids jargon, but he shows up and plays e4. So after e4, Magnus plays this move h6. Now Magnus showing a tremendous amount of respect on the one hand. He uses a minute and 20 seconds before playing his first move but then on the other hand he shows an insane amount of disrespect by playing this move h6 so we have e4 h6 kramnik plays d4 now kramnik being a former world champion having beaten one of the greatest players of all time gary kasparov you expect him to crush magnus but will he is the question so we get d4 being played by kramnik with e6 from magnus we now get the move knight c3 and now a6 played here now a6 is perhaps a little bit dubious i think the black should play the move d5 here and in fact after this move knight f3 and knight f6 for example we have transposed back into a pretty normal french defense so Magnus goes a6 here. After a6, we get this move knight to f3. And now Magnus plays the move b5, trying to fianchito the bishop to b7 and pressure the pawn on e4. So after b5, we get the move bishop to d3 being played. And now Magnus plays c5. Here, Kramnik decides to take on c5. And already there are some shades of another game that was played a few months back in the speed chess championship between Fabiano Caruana with the white pieces and Hikaru Nakamura with the black pieces. Now, in that match, Hikaru was showing a tremendous amount of disrespect. He was usually playing something like e4, a6 on move one. And there was a game that was quite similar to this one, where after d4, e6, knight f3, b5, I believe after bishop d3, Hikaru played c5 with a similar structure. So not such a different position after all. So, at any rate, we have this position after c5. Kramnik takes on c5. Magnus takes back with the bishop. Kramnik decides to castle here. And now we have the move bishop b7 being played. Now, one of the things here is the computer gives white a very big advantage after this move e5 here. Trying to take space in the center stops black from developing with the knight. And white intends to go either bishop e4 or knight to e4 and put pressure in the center of the board. Now, I see someone in chat asked a question, so I will respond to this. I said, what happened in that game? Now, in that game, I believe that Hikaru did win, if I'm not mistaken and Hikaru did win that speed chess ch championship match quite handily now as I was saying about the specific position after this move a4 is played one of the issues with playing and playing blitz games is you don't have a lot of time to think I think if Kramnik had 10 15 20 minutes to think here there's a good chance that he would have played this move e5 but in blitz game you have to play on instinct reaction with Kramnik having shown up late to the game and losing a lot of time at the start it's pure intuition so he plays this move a4 and now after b4 Kramnik has completely thrown away the advantage in fact he's actually worse here as the computer gives black a slight advantage so you go from point seven on move one to better for black on move on move eight and I frankly find that quite interesting and what that speaks to more than anything else is the fact that Kramnik here is playing against Magnus Carlsen and there's a massive psychological impact in terms of who he's playing if Kramnik were playing someone a little bit weaker I don't think we would see this effect I think Kramnik would probably find better moves but at the end of the day it's not all about the moves there are other factors which influence the results in general so we have the move knight to e2 being played here by Kramnik. Now Magnus develops his knight, and we start to see why this move e5 was so effective because now Magnus just simply intends to castle his king out of the center of the board. So we get knight to g3 played here. We now have the move d6 being played by Magnus, queen e2 from Kramnik. We get the move knight bd7, and now this move a5 is played here. Now after a5, queen c7 is played. We get bishop d2. Magnus now plays h5. Now 
h5 probably not the best move in the position computer actually wants black to maybe castle either way although what's amazing here is after a bit of a think i noticed the weak stockfish engine now it says h5 is the best move which i find very interesting so we have h5 being played here by magnus now we get bishop to g5 from kramnik and magnus goes knight to e5 now what magnus is trying to do here is he's trying to attack on the king side his king is still flexible you can castle either to the queen side or to the king side and both of these two bishops are on great diagonals targeting the white pawns and the white king as well after knight to e5 kramnik trades the knights on e5 now on first glance you're like ew black has double pawns on e5 and e6 this is terrible but the pawn on e6 actually stops white from being able to put the knight on f5 or put a knight on d5 here. So in fact, the double pawns here cover some critical squares. Kramnik takes on f6. We get g takes f6. And now Kramnik goes for the hero play with this move knight takes h5. Now, one of the reasons I call this a hero play is because Kramnik is getting very greedy here. He's playing like a computer. He's grabbing a pawn on the edge of the board. He's given Ma Magnus the two Bs here on these great diagonals. Black can move the king, try to attack on the king side, and it just optically looks very scary. So after knight takes h5, what does Magnus do? Magnus thinks he's Icarus, so of course he plays king e7 with a classic bond cloud bringing the king into the center of the board and into the heart of the action. After king to e7, Kramnik plays knight to g3, and now Magnus goes rook h4, trying to create the classic Wendy's double stack on the h5 with rook h8, and putting massive pressure towards the pawn on h2. Additionally, you'll notice that this bishop on c5 is always spying the pawn on the king, and it can never be removed. So it's like if you were playing COD, for example, you're literally sitting in that one position waiting for someone to run in, um, and you're just sitting there waiting for it to happen, and then you're going to get the headshot, you're going to kill them, and life is great. So after rook to h4, Kramnik plays h3. Now we get rook to g8 being played. And now you start to see some serious problems. Kramnik goes king to h2. And now we have this move f5, which is an awesome move by Magnus trying to rip open both of these great diagonals towards the white king and both these pawns. You have the rooks on these great open g and h files. And it's very, very hard to play. So here Kramnik plays move bishop takes a6, which isn't the best move, but it's really hard to fault him here because the computer wants takes and e4 and then bishop a6 but just looking at this position optically black has a double wooden shield in the middle of the board here it's really really hard to play for white these rooks are very very strong both these bishops are great on c5 and d5 and whenever you have a double wooden shield it's just too op so instead we get bishop takes a6 from kramnik and now we have the move bishop takes e4 being played and now kramnik plays knight takes bishop now kramnik probably during the game was thinking wait i get rid of this bishop on e4 now with no b there are no threats on this long light score diagonal and the rook on g8 can't be super active so surely i should be okay However, white is not okay. After rook takes e4, Kramnik plays this move queen to h5, and now Magnus plays rook to d4. Now, this is not the best move. Keep in mind, the players are kind of getting low on time. Computer says after rook to f4, pressuring the pawn on f2. If white plays f3, now black can play e4, opening up this great diagonal scope for the queen on c7, and white is close to loss after king h1 and queen e5 because black will line up the classic double a battery with bishop to d6. One sample line, let's say bishop b5, bishop d6. You play a6, and now after rook takes f3, you're threatening the mate. I guess here there's queen h4, which might save, but I think you guys get the point of what I'm saying. Maybe rook g4 is actually simpler here, and now there's a checkmate on h2. So Magnus instead plays rook to d4 here. Another idea I think that he has here is to go rook d2, creating the class kebab on the second rank with the rook. And if white tries to play something like rook d1, you can maybe trade and win the pawn on f2. So after rook to d4, we have king h1 being played by Kramnik. Not a very good move, as you guys can see from the evaluation bar. And now we have the move queen to c6, which creates a classic double attack. You attack the bishop on c6, but you also hit the pawn on g2 and threaten checkmate in uno. So after queen to c6, Kramnik plays queen to f3. And now Magnus shows no mercy here. He plays queen takes a6. Now Magnus probably could even trade the queens here and play something like rook h4. And this is also winning after say king h2 and e4 with ideas like bishop to d6 and the classic ladder checkmate on the king side. But Magnus would rather simply take a free piece. So Magnus plays queen takes a6. And now Kramnik decides to play c3. Now normally you would expect a former world chess champion playing against the greatest player of all time to simply resign. But Kramnik's having none of it and he plays a move c3. After c3, we get the move b takes c3. 
Queen takes c3 being played here by Kramnik, and now Magnus goes bishop b4. Now you're noticing here that Magnus is simply trying to consolidate his position. He's not looking for like a win in three or four moves. He just knows that if he doesn't blunder right away and his king is very safe with this nice wall of pawns or the linebacker pawns, as I would call them, he should be fine. So we get queen to c7 check. Magnus goes king f6, and this is what I would call the linebacker formation of pawns. I think I've spoken about it before, but there are certain situations where you get a pawn in front of a set of pawns, and I like to use football analogies, and I sometimes call it the, uh, it's like, you know, the screen of pawns, because it's like the screen where you have the linebackers in front, and then you've got like the one pawn or the knight right behind it. At any rate, Magnus's king here is very safe with all these pawns around it, and now Kramnik plays move queen b6. After queen b6, we get the trade of the queens, and now Magnus goes rook b8. And surely at this point, now Magnus is consolidated. He's in an endgame with an extra bishop. Kramnik will resign here because he's just down a bishop. He's down on clock. What to do? But Kramnik still is having none of it, and he plays the move rook to a6. And now Magnus plays rook to d6. And finally, Vladimir Kramnik, the former world chess champion, resigns in this position against Magnus Carlsen. Now, Magnus at this point in the tournament, he's rated 3364, but with this win, his rating keeps inching up. He actually finished the tournament on a whopping score of 9.5 out of 10 points. But in a similar fashion to something that happened in the World Rap and Blitz Championship, Magnus actually missed a round. So Magnus had a zero from a game that he did not play. So he finished the tournament on a score of 9.5 out of 11. He was pipped by none other than Maxime Vachy Le Gras from France, who also scored 9.5 points out of 11 and would win the tournament on tiebreak. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. This was a fun game that I thought I would cover from the early Title Tuesday played today on January 2nd, 2024. In case I didn't mention already, hope you guys enjoyed Christmas. Hope you guys had a happy new year. And if you've not subscribed to the channel already, make sure that you smash that subscribe button below. And we will be back soon with some more great YouTube-only content. See you guys. Bye. All right, everybody. So, we are back, and let's get going. Um, let's keep rolling uh with our content so let's let's move around um let's try to play a new game let me change the scene of course let's put the music back on and off we go so okay there you guys go that's of course how the sausage is made um let's play some more blitz i might do a view arena soon um let's see who's online gonna send out some challenges um let's see tobias koelke's online let's play him at 3-0 let's play him 3-0 there we go um sending out some challenges i want to play blitz we might do a view arena soon you lied like a true journalist i lied about what magnus finished on nine and a half out of eleven he was pipped by maxime what do you mean i lied what, what do you mean did i say something wrong maybe i said something wrong i don't know oh i lied by saying bye <laughs> okay you guys but um who's this guy we've got Nevor leg off 29 25 at blitz i am um, looks very juicy probably overrated um who else do we have um we have Kak Parov, 2941. We might play him. Chess Missile is online. Now, Chess Missile 07, there was actually a recent thing published with a bunch of stats from Title Tuesday, and there were some suggestions about that account, so we definitely aren't going to play him. Um, Denny Do Dennis Zozen, I played this guy the other day. Very, very strong player. Um, play another weak player. Let's try to boost our rating, get another adoption. Play G6, Bishop G7. Thank you so much for late night balls for the four. Thank you, Shimmer, for the 19. They one eye jack for the five. Thank you, Klivanov. Nixon, thank you so much for one eye jack for the five gift. Let's go here and here. Play bishop d7, queen c8, and bishop h3 here. Hans got schooled by Nihal. Okay, let's go here. Bishop h3. Um, very simple chess. 2703, so weak, yes. Let's go here and take. Yeah. Play versus Hans Neiman? I would consider it, maybe. Um, I'm going to go over this. Probably is wrong, but it's, it looks interesting. Let's play F5. This is what Levy plays, LOL. Yeah, Levy, Levy, um, Levy clearly copying me if, he, if he's actually playing this. This looks weird. Let's take 95. I know this is actually good, but I'm I'm trying to do something. Yeah. Hmm. Should be a good position. Weak bishop on c1. Good night. Rook g8. A lot of pressure. Let's go here and rook g8, pressure on g3. Look at these knights. 
Oh, Kramnik flag, same thing. He would have lost anyway, though, so who cares? Uh, I miss uh, I misplayed this a little bit. Shoot, he saw it. Um, hmm. Okay, this guy mildly dangerous, maybe. Let's go here, I guess. These are in nitrile for the prime. Isn't it petty to make a video about Kramnik losing? Well, considering Kramnik tried to cancel me with with no uh, no stats or data, I don't really. I, th I think anything is fair game. Yeah, I mean, I you, you guys can view it one way, but considering he tried to cancel me, he tried to say I was cheating when I wasn't. Like, I'm sorry, but I mean, everything is fair game after the after the bullshit he pulled. Played B6. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying everything is fair game after that. So I'm gonna go B6, maybe E6 or E5 here. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Okay, let's go here. Maybe pressure the pawn on C3. Maybe rook C5 as well. I mean, don't forget he also is basically threatening to sue everybody too. Let's not forget that either. So yeah, as far as I'm concerned, like everything is fair game. Thanks so much to True Dokian for the four months. Appreciate it. Let's take the pawn. Should be very good. I can just go a5 here. I can play e5 or c5. Mm, let's just go here. Oh, I could have played. Oh, b5 and b5 and rook f4. b5, rook d4, e5, just winning. Let's go. Uh, I still could play e5 and hit the knight. Um, yeah, you're, you're saying, um, even if he had a legit reason to be concerned, I mean, if, if he had done one, if he done it once or twice and spoken about this one thing, it's not a huge deal. But don't forget, he continued with it for basically a month. Yay! I mean, he, he continued it for a month. It wasn't like where he just said one thing and stopped. He's not like he said one thing. It's like, okay, that's it. He basically continued with it nonstop. So you got you guys want to act like, I mean, like, like it wasn't. I mean, he did. He did. That's what he did. Let's play D4 and take here and play E5 or just H3. Stop Bishop G4 and now Knight C3. Yeah, it's, it's not like he said one thing. It's like, please look at it. That's it. Like, he doubled down. He, he, he basically made a petition, petition online, which, of course, was signed by a lot of trolls. And I found great, uh, which I thought was highly comical. I'm not going to lie. I thought, I thought it was very amusing seeing Joseph Stalin, Vladimir Putin, um, Hans Niemann, many others who, who, signed the, uh, who, signed the, uh, who signed that great petition that apparently was acting like it was real when it wasn't. Um, so, yeah, just take, yeah. It goes knight e8. Uh, I'm just going to go bishop g5, maybe bishop h4, maybe bishop g3. Yeah. If it takes, I'll take back with the pawn. Probably I should have played, uh, played d5. I should have played d probably. May uh, maybe not, because after takes, 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 there is f6. Maybe not. But we'll see. So he goes knight c7. Um, don't have a good move, so I'm just going to play a3, I guess. And... I want to go knight d5 if I can. I don't know if I can, but I want to. Oppenheimer was a surprising signature. Mm hmm Yeah. Who knew? As an official Stalin, I support this comrade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So let's see what we get. Waiting for a move. I'm not surprised Genghis Khan signed. Wow, Genghis signed it as well. Shocking. Wow. Wow, Genghis Khan even. That's amazing. Who knew? Genghis actually had time. He had time to sign it. I'm impressed. Uh, Duda not shaking his Matulin's hand. I thought that was uh showed a that was pretty pretty amazing from Duda. Pretty amazing. I'm not gonna lie. Seeing Duda not shake his hand was was pretty phenomenal. It actually kind of reflects a little bit poorly on Magnus because like Magnus has been pretty outspoken too about Russians and and all the other stuff. And yet he played his Matulin and he shook his hand. Things were auto tilt for seven months. 
I've got a great position, massive pressure here in the middle of the board. Um, but yeah, big credit to big credit to um, big credit to uh, to to Duda. Big credit. Um, basically, um, uh, Jan Krzysztof Duda from Poland. He did not shake hands with Denis Hizmetulin from Russia because Denis Hizmetulin has been very outspoken about the Russian the illegal Russian invasion of Ukraine. Um, and obviously Duda's from Poland and Poles are, you know, Poles, Poles actually remember the world like 25, 30 years ago and how bad, how bad it was with the oppression of the Soviet Union. So, uh, Duda did not shake his hand. Um, and, uh, and like, yeah, props to Duda. They're called Poles, right? Polish people. Aren't they called Polish people? Or is that, is that wrong? Oh, is that wrong? I thought, I thought you were allowed to say that. Is that wrong? Uh, is that is that are you not allowed to say that i i, I don't know it's 2024 i i don't know like I, I don't know maybe something's not acceptable in 2024 i'm never sure um okay pulls is okay it, it's okay okay i wasn't sure I, I mean i wasn't sure you guys let's go g6 bishop g7 let's try to eke this guy eight more to get another adoption it's 24, 24, dude, you can't say, I know you can't say anything. Actually, I'll give you a great example because I spent the last, I, yesterday I was busy, uh, busy working on my car quite a bit, unlike every other chess player who, who doesn't even drive. Um, so I was busy working on my car yesterday and I, I had to call AAA to get it fixed because um, I, I couldn't figure out the battery issues and replacing and all this other stuff. And I, I didn't want to try and change a battery on my own. I just, I've never done it. I'm not an auto mechanic. Um, but it was funny because, uh, because, what I was going to say is like, like my mom was talking to me about it. Cause I guess apparently driver's ed in the old days, when you did driver education, it meant that you actually, there's like an actual book and a course and other stuff on it. And, um, and, and apparently like you had to take the course. My mom was saying when she took the course growing up, there was a chapter about like batteries, jump starting, all the, the wiring, the, all, all this, all this, this sort of mechanical stuff. Um, and she said that in the chapter that was about this stuff, it's it, basically, they literally wrote in the book, it said, um, girls, you might not, it said something like girls, you might not understand this or this chapter might not be for you. Um, and, and like in 2024, you could never say that you could never say that period. You could never say that you would get canceled. Like in five seconds, if you said that, yeah, I mean, yeah, no, I'm, I'm not kidding. Like that's what my mom said. It's like in 2024, you say that, eh, that's it. That's it. You're canceled. You're canceled. No, and you're, you're just, you're done. You're done. And not, not just on Twitch. Um, okay, those castles. I'm gonna go castle. I'm gonna go knight of five here. Maybe knight d4 next move. Um, maybe they're x factor for the 19 months. Uh, isn't that a free? Oh, he's got knight d5, but I just go back to e5. Maybe he trades late chase for the 13. Then he's gonna shut Balan, Balan Raj Blanco for the prime. Yeah. Um, there's, there's a free juice around c4. Can I go for the kill? Will these, will these knights kill? These knights, will they kill? It looks like they should kill, but I'm not sure if it will kill. Whatever, I don't care enough. Let's just go for it. Why not? I'm just going to go for the kill with knight f3. No, that's from that show. Uh, what's that show called? I forget what that show is called. Uh, there's that show called... Um, what is that show called? Do you guys tell me? I'm too, I, I don't remember right off. It's the one with the knives, right? Forge and fire, yeah. And they're like, it will kill, is what they say. It will kill. Okay, let's just go for the kill with queen g4. Oh, did I blunder 97? No, I didn't. I've got king h7, luckily. Although somehow this is a little bit... Eh, oh, do I have... Oh, wait. Do I have queen f3 to mate him? Wait a second. King h3? Nah, I mean, why go for that? Um, This isn't as easy as it should be, though, somehow. I'm spending too much time here thinking as well. I think I'm just going to eat a juicer, maybe. He can take, but I just go here. Should be okay because I have queen e6 and queen g4 back. Now, I can obviously trade the queens. I don't really want to, but I will. So I'm going to go for this. I mean, he has d's knights, but a rook should be better than d's knights, especially with me getting a pass pawn on the queen side. Um, I guess I'll just take. Go here. I have rook b8, maybe, or rook a6. Oh, I can't go rook b8. There's knight d7 forking me. 
Yeah, I don't think there was a mate in two. Queen after a loud rook, she won. I didn't see the continuation after that, but it might have existed. I don't know. Let's go d5. Got like rook b8 here, maybe. Rook b5 should be very good for me. Yeah, it should be pretty straightforward. Let's take, drop back. Stop rook c7. I just want to go one, two, three, four with the rook behind the pass pawn. We're just pushing p and winning the game. Is Mitten stronger than Magni? Of course it is. Yes. Let's go A4. 14 gave viewers. Yeah, today is the first uh, titled stream of uh, of the great new year, 2024. Keep pushing the P. I'm just going to keep pushing, pushing, pushing. Push the P and win the game with Rook B1. I think Matt Mittens is stronger. But again, yeah, as I was saying, big shout out to everybody who... Uh, who was um, big shout out to everybody who uh, was was uh, who's been watching us first first Tuesday stream first stream on Twitch in the new year. Hope you guys are uh, doing well. Um, let's play D four this time. Something more standard. I played the Magni bot. We did a video. It's on my YouTube. Uh, I played Magni bot last night and um, I drew one game and lost two. Two games I tried to play normal. One game I tried to clog the toilet. Uh, the game where I clogged the toilet was a draw, and the two games where I tried to play real main lines, I just got smoked. Um, so we, we have our video on YouTube, if you guys haven't seen it already. It goes Rook B, and I'm going to play A3. Yeah. Magni should have just been an Alpha Zero recent. Magni's not as good as Stockfish or, um, or Komodo. That's a strange move. Um, I'm going to go here. He does it. Wow. Um, I don't know. This looks bad. Oh, did I just blunder? I did for no reason. <sighs> but I have Bishop F four ninety five. I mean, a lot of pressure here in the middle of the board. Goes there. Let's target the tower. Can go ninety five here. I can also just stack. I can also play ninety five, which looks good. I can also go ninety five. I can also literally do anything under the sun. So I think if I can do anything under the sun, I'm gonna go here and do the double stack. Go here. Um, he goes bishop g4. Not the move I was expecting, to be honest. Um, go here, hit the pawn on b7. Memphis. In Memphis. Um, I guess I'll just go here and trade some pieces, maybe. He has knight d4, but I can just go queen a2. And I'm not really worried, because I have b4. I've got e3. Okay, I've got e3. I hit the bishop. I've got b4 looming. Queen on a5, very dubious here. Um, Hikaru played for Husek Vienna in 2008, 2009. That is correct. Yes, I played for um the Austrian team Husek Vienna. Yes, yes, your memory is good. Correct. Um, let's go knight c6 to touch the queen, or sorry, attack the queen. I should say he sacks the rook. Let's take back. Um, should be close to winning here. Just puts piece on d5. Um, and it should should be very good. Am I playing late titles? Husek? Of course I am. Yeah, don't be weird. Don't be weird, you guys. Don't be weird. Um, don't be weird. Um, H3 is a move. Bishop D5 is a move. I mean, all roads lead to Rome here. I really like that that statement. I apparently like. Apparently, I'm one of those guys who like. I'm I'm all about ancient Rome, right? Wasn't that the saying? Okay, now I can take with the pawn or the bishop. I guess I'll take with the pawn because I don't want to let him trap my bishop here. Rook takes was probably fine, but there's some E5 nonsense. I don't want to allow it. Um. Yeah. Did I be the regular Mag spot? I didn't do a video playing the regular ones. I only played against Magni, but um, but at any rate, uh, one second. Let's see. B4 is kind of reasonable here. I'm just trying to do something. My, my bishops are kind of weird in this position. I don't know why. They just look weird. So I'm going to go here and hit the knight. some point, I'm probably going to play B4 later on, but not yet. Icaro represented Brazil in the GCL. That is correct, yes. Yeah. Actually, I realized I have e4 to maybe win one of the, one of these knights. Okay, it goes rook d8. Of course, I should take. Now there's no e5 threat, so I probably can just play like b4, and it should just be winning. Or is it? Yeah, it should be winning. Just takes. I was worried about e5 for a split second. It's Magni, M-A-G-N-I. Uh, why even type blitz farm instead of blitzing farm? You're not saving any time. I don't know what you mean by that. First side Tuesday one was won by Max Maximus, uh, the commander, the commander in general of the Felix Legions. Get Queen B5. I'm gonna take the pawn on C5. I'm gonna I could push D6. I can also play H3. Let's go. Queen C2, maybe try to trade some queens. Yeah. 
I did not represent Japan, you guys. I hit play h3, touching the t attacking the knight on g4 here. Yeah, let's take. So, all right, takes. So I just take. I mean, this is very simple. Just e4 here. I all I really need to do is push some p. Go here. No pawns on the color of the bishop. Bishop can't touch anything, which is how it should be, as I've said many times. Now I just start pushing the pawns. Um, let's keep pushing. D7 incoming with the rook behind the pawn. He'll probably resign here. Wasn't he the commander of the Felix Legions, or am I wrong? My name is Maximus Decimus Meridius. I was co commander of the Northern Re no Was it commander of the Northern Armies? I don't, I don't, I, when I was younger, I could remember the lines. Now I don't, now I don't remember the line anymore, but yeah, there's, it's like the classic line. Um, let's keep going. Okay. We're 40% of the way there. 60 more to go. Uh, let's keep going. G6. There, there were no Northern, my, yeah, my name is Gladiator. General of the Northern armies. Yes. Um, commander of the Felix legions. Yeah. So I'm not wrong. Okay, good. Father to a father to a murdered son, blah 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 wife, and I owe my vengeance in this life or the next. That much I remember, yes. Um, but anyway, a uh, gladiator two is coming out. I don't know what's what it's going to be like. I, I I don't know. I have no idea. Um, could be interesting. It could be terrible. I'm very very hard to judge. Uh, let's go here. Maybe knight of five. No idea. I, I actually have no idea what to expect from him. I'm going to go F6 here. Um, and I think I'm going to play E5 and like Knight G4 to hook him. Uh, this allows Queen H3, actually. Go here, hit the Queen. If only I could get these Knights in quicker. I can't, but it still should be good. Let's go here, hit the Bishop. Also F5 looming here as well. Um, let's go here, hit the Knight. I can go king d7. I can also trade and play another end game. I don't want to play an end game this time. Though. I'm just going to go here. And he goes bishop a1, which is actually a good move. I don't know why I did this. Yeah, I'm not happy with my position. I let him get this outpost at knight on g5 for some stupid reason. But whatever. Show goes on. Yeah, I see Willie. You mean Charlie? Charlie and the chocolate factor? Is that you mean by Wonka? Is that what you mean? By, is that what do you mean by? I don't know what you mean by that exactly. I guess I'll go e5 here. Ninety-two. I should play a5, maybe a4. I got to be careful of b4, rook b3. Okay, it goes for this one. Let's go here. Not sure I like this move, but it's a move. Let's go. Knight c2 looks a little bit dean. It's maybe okay, but it looks. Like I'm trying to trap my knight, so I'll just go back. It was d4. There's f4 here. I can also play rook e8. I can also just trade. I think I'm gonna go rook e8. I really don't like my position though. Okay, takes. I'm happy to see that actually. Very happy. Because now I'm gonna get some activity, and with activity, I should be fine. The show goes on is equivalent to, and you are not entertained. Okay, apparently. Um, I don't like that. Now I'll trade go here. There's no b4 because he loses the rook. Pressure in the center with the classic knight fork. And if this knight jumps and then these knights are very bigly. So let's see what he does. Yeah. We are playing the late title Tuesday for everybody who's wondering, just to be clear. We are playing. Um, now I could take on e4. I'm wondering if I can play like d5 or something. If only I could get rid of this horse with like knight f7, Yay! which I can't. But I think this still should be good. Takes, like, stack the rooks, pressure on the pawn. Seems like this should be good with rook, rook e8 next move. There's rook d1. Okay, I'll sidestep with king c7, of course. c5. Um, take, probably rook e8. Pressure the pawn. b6 incoming. Looks very good for me. Thank you so much, Javier, for the prime. Thank you so much, Javier. Let's take and go B6. Thank you so much, Hoonish. Thank you so much, Jamafile for the 17. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you so much, Quiet Guru, for the gift of sub as well. Magnus did not lose to MVL. He, uh, he missed a round in the tournament. So, yeah. Go here. Win the juicer. Goes B5. Now, 
I could take, I could also play C5 put, to put the knight in jail forever. Um, but this has to be correct with rookie four. Because check, I have king C8. Thank you Gino the Gambino for the four months. Thanks so much to Gino. Hope all is well with uh, the Gambino family. Um, does it, do they even exist anymore? I feel like the Mafia doesn't exist anymore. Um, let's see what Matreya does. Please, please beat someone. Thank you Chilaroni for the problem. I didn't play Magnus, so it's kind of hard. Like, it's, if I don't play him, I, I don't know, really know how I'm so, supposed to beat him. Okay, now the key here to winning is just to dominate the knight. Um, 95 looks like a good way to... Oh, it doesn't dominate. He can still jump, but whatever. As long as I don't hang something bigly, I win the game. Let's go b4, king b5, king c5. Go um, here. He's got knight c7, so go here and king a4, of course. Resigns. Let's keep going. Okay, 50% of the way there. Play knight f3. Let's go b3, bishop b2, d4, e3. Trying to get another adoption. That's what I'm trying to do right now. Let's go bishop e2 and castles. Play c4. Let's go knight d4. Let's take. You're pretty outspoken about Russia, Ukraine. I don't want to talk about Gaza. Okay, whatever, dude. Cool story. Um, let's go knight c2, bishop f3, knight c3. Really not the same topic at all, but thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you for the suggestion. Um, for some reason, I miss that d5 is a playable move here. How do I win this is the question. I think I'll just play here and take with a knight, maybe. Take with a bishop. Mm, don't like my position. Take and play bishop f3. Yeah, I mean, uh, the, there's, no, there's no happy answer to that question, no matter how you look at it. It goes uh, there. Bishop f3, pressure the pawn. Actually, I'm kind of happy about this position because I feel like I'm getting a little bit more of what I want in this position. Yeah. So, should be good. Yeah. All right, so he takes. I'll take back with a knight. I can play rook fd1. He goes knight a5. Um, knight a5, wait. No, I guess I should just take. I mean, if he trades the queens, I feel like I'm getting some play here. Probably won't do that, but we'll see. Well, we shall see. All right, he trades the queens. Um, I guess I'll take with the A rook. It just fills right. I don't really know why. Let's go knight before. Try to use D's knights. Get up, get off on his business. I can always trade the bishop for the knight. We can start to use some of the dark arts, I guess. Um, yeah. Goes a5. Okay, now we're going to go for the classic. We're going to try to master the dark arts. We're going to take and go knight d5 here. Sorry, trying to put it in a limit order. Give me one second. Um, let's play knight d5. Hit the bishop, hit the pawn on b6. Um, is that enough? Maybe more. Okay, it goes B5. Oh, it's about to hang my knight. That's not good. Let's go knight B6, hit the rook. I've got knight D7 to fork the rook and the bishop here. I think it's separate over the 100 bits. Appreciate it. Um, should I? Okay, how do I win this game? I mess this up. Here, takes, takes. King G7. Takes, takes. I'm not winning that end game. I don't. I've got knight D6, B4. I think I have to go for it, though. If I don't go for it, what am I doing? He's also got rook a2, which is kind of messy, actually. A little bit murky. Thank you, SSM. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay, he goes rook a8, which is a mistake, I assume, because I can take twice. Um... I want to go for some rook d7. It's still not easy to play, but I somehow I assume I'm winning this with rook d7. It's also knight c. No, I'm not though. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, he goes there. Let's go here. 
Okay, time to turn up time time to turn up the juice. Um, let's go here. Pressure the knight. Knight g5, knight c5, knight d6. Look at these knights. The knight is jumping every which way. Okay, it goes a4, which of course I just blundered to, obviously. Go h4. Okay, I gotta focus here. This is very dangerous. I need to focus. Go here. Go here. The reason I'm going to C7 is because now I have F4 somewhere. Um, Got to come up with something. What am I doing? Maybe Knight D8 and F4 here. Because <sighs> now I'm threatening mate in two. Very dangerous. Actually, if he takes a Knight, I take with check, and then I win the game. Made a curses for the 29 months. Thanks so much, curses. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thanks so much to that no one life hate watcher as well. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Yeah, this is this is not Hassan's chat, you guys. So if that's what you're looking for, um, you can go to Hassan's channel. It's there now. I could tickle him with a check, but I assume I just take. Okay, this should be winning if I'm precise here. But the thing is, do I want to be precise or do I want to just win at all costs? I think this is probably the simplest way to win. Go check. I have check and take. And then I go. Oh, I thought I rooked F1. Oh my god, I thought I rooked F1 with his winning. Yay! I, I can flag him, but... Uh... Perseus just took $5 out Wait, is this actually winning? Here, 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 here. I think I'm winning, actually. Okay, should be winning. Let's keep going. Yeah, that was not good. Okay, let's keep rolling. Here we go. Okay, let's play g6 again. Bishop g7, obviously. Good d6. Is Tyler one still on streak. I think Tyler one is doing puzzles, but not not much not much else. Go queen c8, which is good. It's good that he's doing something he still enjoys. He was Scotty for the six months with puzzles, um, and he's not hitting his head against the wall. You know, when he's getting stuck at like this 1500 rating, it's actually very much a good thing. Um, and I'm happy to see it because like if he, if he kept playing every day and he's like going between like 1400 and 1500, like he's never going to improve from there, um, without something just clicking. And then you're just spending hours and hours every day on something. And it's it, eventually it's not going to be fun. That's the other big problem. Like eventually, if you do that, you're going to be like, why am I wasting my time in a stupid game? And you're all the positive feelings that I, I assume he had associated with like playing chess to begin with will go out the window. And so it's, it's very much a good thing. I mean, it's not about needing a coach to break 1500. That's not, that's not what it's about. You guys, um, that's not what it's about. So, yeah. All right. Anyway, let's keep going. Oh, did the Harvard professor have to resign? Ah, uh, she had to resign. It looks like I just see. I'm just looking at. I just see the headlines. Uh, let's just take here. And she had to resign, it looks like. Thank you so much to Atiris for the prime. No, there's nothing wrong with casually playing at 1500, but the problem is when you're playing and you're expecting improvement and you get stuck, you start to get really upset and frustrated. And that is not a good thing. That's not a good thing at all. Am I in precious metals like lithium? There was a there was a Chilean lithium stock that I looked at a while back, but I haven't been in anything lately. There's some it was like Chilean. I forget what the symbol was, but there was one that I was looking at. Um Okay, so I should be really good here. Um how do I win though? Maybe I just I think I'm gonna take and go for this one. It's a little bit rudimentary, but I'm just gonna try to kill him on the H file, basically. And there's no knight d4, very importantly, as well. Like you can go rook c1. I mean, queen h5 is probably fine. I mean, I can also go knight f5. I can also go rook f7. Um, actually, it's a little bit... Yeah, I might have made a mistake in this somehow. That's actually a good move by him. Okay, you got to pick it up. Pick up the speed. Like, let's go here and take, I guess. I mean, like, I assume that I should have enough play like knight f5 or something, or maybe even just g4 right away. I think I'm just going to go g4 in one go. I'm just going to go for the kill. Let's say, like, go for the keel with g4. 
Of course I take, of course I go here. There should be some that's not playable. F3 is a massive threat here to win the bishop and probably just win the game on the spot. If he takes on b7, I take, and then I lolly him with f3, queen, g2, the classic lolly checkmate. d4. So I have f3 again, but I assume I just go here. Same threat of f3, just overprotect the square with the queen and the rook. Yeah, this is probably just lost. If he goes f3, I can even take h3. Wait, what? Can't I go f3 and lolly him? Isn't this just a lolly checkmate with queen h3 and queen g2 with the pawn and the queen? I think that's just gg. Yeah, it's just gg. We're going to get another win. 70% of the way there. We're still three more. Three off. Three off from the 10 in a row. Maybe a little Karante with the prime. 1500. I don't know what you... When you say 1500, by the way, I don't know if you mean online or over the board. Big difference. Let's play a Smith-Mora gambit in honor of uh, Ken Smith and Mora. Here... Wait, wait a second. This is not right, is it? Or did I blunder? Wait a second. Oh, I think I played the wrong order. Oh, no. I played the wrong order here, actually. I think. I think I played the wrong... Ugh. I played the wrong order, but whatever. I still don't know how bad this is, though. There's still b4 tricks and queen c4 tricks. Like, I don't know if this is terrible. I, maybe I should have gone queen d1, though, but whatever. Goes knight g8, which to me looks kind of insane. Um, I could go e6 here. I think I'm just going to play as, like, a true smith Moore and just castle. Like, there's no need to be aggressive here. Just play, like, a proper game. Um, go here. Knight g5 is still a big threat here. Still queen c4 check. Is, actually, queen c4 is maybe very interesting. Like, I'm going to go queen c4, knight d5. He plays d6, which uh, to me that looks kind of insane. Um, I can take the pawn. Wait, I need to be careful how I do this. I mean, I think I'll go check, hit the king. And I think I'm just going to take, because bishop e6, knight g5 is gg. He has to go to like f8 or e8. I take the pawn, and I mean, I'm getting massive attacking possibilities here in the center. He's got no development. He's got one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five pieces on their original squares. And I can go rook d1 or rook e1. All my pieces are developed. I mean, this might not be winning, mind you, but it looks really, really bad. It seems familiar for the prime. I mean, it's hard to believe that a human can survive. Let's go rook e1. Maximum pressure on the e file. Rook d1, next move. And he can't castle. Like, if he could go e6 and castles, he'd probably be winning, but he can't castle because he already moved his king. Found a new gambit? Maybe. I mean, this probably isn't so bad, actually. And now I go here, of course. Look at d's rooks. Look at this pressure. This massive pressure here. I don't, I don't see him surviving. I also have knight b5, knight c7, I just realized as well. Yeah, this is just losing. It was queen b6. Now, I have knight b5 here, which I'm just going to play. I'm just going to go knight c7 because he can't castle. If he could castle, he'd be winning, but he can't. No castle allowed because he moved the king. Now I can play knight g5. I also have d7 and knight d6, which looks dirty. Um, I also have knight... Maybe knight g... I have to make sure I don't get too cocky here with what I do because, like, if I get too cocky and I play the wrong move, I will lose this game. Maybe just knight c7 is simple. I think it's probably simple. So I just take with a pawn. Bishop guards it. No need to go for a flashy idea like knight g5, knight e5. Well, that might have worked. Maybe. Oh, did I have queen f... Oh, I might have had a beautiful mate there with knight... I might have been able to go knight g5, knight e5, queen f... Oh, takes, takes. There's king f8, g8. Never mind. He plays king f8. Okay, now... I mean, if you look at d's knights, I mean... D's knights are really a problem. This should just be winning for me. I don't see any way to stop mate, really. Goes e6. Okay, of course we take. We take back. There are some big fossils that are going to occur here. Big fossils. So, going to get another win. Let's go check and mate. All right, let's keep going. 
here we go round number nine let's play g6 bishop g7 here and keep rolling let's go here knight c6 play bishop d7 queen c8 bishop h3 next move um yeah I didn't need to be too cocky there but I mean I, I could have been more cocky but it's still good okay, it goes b3 let's play bishop h3 again I thought I got a good position let's, let's go h5 takes let's go here play some high level players how dare you insult these guys these guys are seriously good players I mean, this guy's like 2695 and you're acting like ah play some good players meanwhile you're down there at like 1200 and we we, we wonder why um let's go here oh my god oh oh my god oh oh my god um oh my god uh okay let's take I just nearly ruined my streak oh yeah, yeah okay slow down take a deep breath take a chill pull let's go night before how does the night move <laughs> how does the night move that's a good question maybe the x mad xx for the eight months that was so bad by me that's unbelievably bad um okay let's think about this pawn is maybe weak it's maybe strong I'm gonna go here and probably trade Yeah, let's go here. Can't believe I did that. I did the Benjamin Benjamin Bach declined. Yeah. Go here. I'm I'm a little bit. I don't even know what to say. They affirm you for the prime. Yeah, I don't know what to say. I'm I'm a little bit disturbed at the moment. Just want to go like C six and open it up. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna sack now. Let's sack and go for this end game. I was curious about this end game already, but let's go for it anyway. Now the rook's on c8. Go c6. I was already curious about this end game before with like a knight e3. So I'm gonna try to activate the rook. Open file should be at a premium here for my two towers. So if I get an open file, the rook should be better than the bishop and the knight here. Goes there. I mean, rook c2 looks like a solid move to hit the bishop. I, I can always go f6 or f f5 is a move now actually f5 should just be winning king d3 rook g2 go here knight's still under attack now I get another pawn and this should be pretty smoothly winning for me yeah okay one more you guys one more yeah one more to go let's take knight f3 I need to get e5 and if I can I can also go a5 a4 I think I'm going to go a5, a4 here. Try to open up the queen side, maybe. Maybe not very smart, though, because I fixed the pawn to a dark square. It goes b4. I'm going to play b5, of course. Oh, I had e5. What am I doing? I, I literally said all I need is e5, and I could have done it here. What am I doing? Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Let's go here, I guess. This way he gets no d5. And play rook c8. Pawns, by the way, on the other color. The bishop can't touch the pawns again. And this one pawn covers a critical jump or square. Yeah, that that's... I don't know I, what's wrong with me. But it is what it is, as the, as the old saying goes. One second. All right. Uh, let's play Rook C8. Yeah, yeah, I just realized the video I was trying to get on YouTube, I can't do it. So I have to convert a file and everything. So let's go check. Um, so one second, let's go check. Let's go here, I guess. Uh, yeah, let's go here. Yeah. I think I can just go E5 here, close it. I could have played Rook D3 check too. That was more than enough as well. This is good enough. Um, can go Rook A2 as well. Yeah, let's keep going one more for the adoption play e4 good night oh I should have played the I should have played the Smith Moore again 
Uh, let's play this one. Let's go queen e4, of course. God's plan. That's just a free pawn. I'll take it. Unless I blundered something. I don't think I did. I could have played ed6 too. Okay, let's see. This is kind of stupid by me, by the way, to play like this. Um, I think I'll just go here and cast. I'll just play simple chess. It, it's just an end game. I mean, it's nothing special, nothing to write home about. But at the end of the day, it should be okay. Should be fine. What? What the heck is this? I, what the heck is going on? One second. Um, there we go. Okay. He castles. Um, I can play knight f3 here. I don't know what he's doing, by the way. Let's just go like rook d1 and knight d4. Yeah. Ding! Yeah, that's uh, because I have a converter for the file, so I just had to upload the file and convert it. Yeah, you did hear ding. Ding is in the building. Yeah, because I need to upload a, upload a file. So I had to convert, and then I need to upload it. He takes... Okay, apparently my opponent thinks his name is Bobby Robert James Fisher, so he plays Bishop A2. I mean, I mean, Robert James Fisher was a great player most of the time, but trapping your bishop on the edge is not so smart. Thank you, Kiss Power for the Prime. They have troll little man. I appreciate it. Thank you so much to Broadfist for the 24 and Ezekiel as well. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just going to go Rook A1, and he's going to resign. Because, I mean, this, the bro, bro thinks he's Bobby Fisher, but not in a good way. Not in a good way. Bro plays Knight F4. Um, can obviously trade. Them. Oh, do I just go knight c3? Actually, yeah, it's just simple. I just win the win the bishop. This is even simpler. Knight g2, I take. Knight d3, I take. All roads lead to Rome. Things. Do we get the adoption? Ding, 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 a ling, a ling. Yes, exactly. Okay, still thinking. Probably gonna resign in a second if I had to guess. He's thinking too long. Yeah, I mean he just lost. That's why. It'll be interesting to see how Ding does in Vicon say though. I'm actually really quite curious. Okay, let's keep going. Actually, this is kind of boring, isn't it? I should find someone else to play. I don't mind adopting people, but I should find someone else to adopt. I think Unox I need a beginnings. Go here. Maybe not hang my queen. Cause at plus one, I mean like if I make one stupid slip like I did last time, like I'm just cooked. Let's go here. Go here. I mm, guess I'll go here. E6 is a terrible move. I don't know why I played it. Yeah, now he's knight h2, so I have to get my queen back out. I mean, short of making an epic fail, I probably should win every game, but still. I don't know. I feel like I'm close to blundering against this guy, and I, I don't really want to make a blunder and just throw away all my, all my hard work. On the other hand, I probably should be able to beat him, beat him 10 more in a row. That's the flip side of the coin. Did my light just flicker for a second? Um, did my light just flicker? I, I feel like it did, but maybe I'm crazy. Let's just castle. I think it was an XX Silent Rip for the 19 months. Thanks so much to Rip Van Winkle. It's B4 logical. Okay, I'm going to go to IG6 now. And Why did I do this, though? What, what am I even doing? I, again, I'm starting to play this horribly. I think it ate in a bed for the 17 months. I thought my, I don't know, maybe I'm just insane. I thought my light flickered for a second there. Yay! Things are ran Django for the 25 month reset. Things are ran Django. Appreciate it. Thank you. Just go. I don't even know which square is best, but I'll go here just to touch the pawn on C4, maybe. Okay, now it's time to get aggressive. Um, I'm going to go G4 and F5, maybe. Try to attack here. Last time I played Vladislav Artemyev online, I don't know. I have no idea. It's been a long time. Let's go here. Pressure the knight. Pressure the knight.
Okay. <sighs> Bishop c1 played. I mean, I can obviously just take and go f5, hit the pawn, hit the pawn on c4 too. <clears throat> Could have played rook f8 maybe. Oh, that's dangerous. Actually, that's, is that dangerous? Not really, but it could be. Could be dangerous. I mean, I always have knight c8 to guard. Yeah. Go here. Okay, goes rook b1. Um, I guess I'll go rook f8. I, I mean, I, I don't know. Is he... Oh, he's trying to crash it like this. Ah, so if I go f4. Okay, so I'll go b6 here. Gonna go f4 next move, of course. Take with a rook, rook f3, incoming, rook f3, rook f8. I assume I'm quicker than whatever queenside business he's trying to cook up. What does t t Title Tuesday Cup mean? It's just a new, the, just a new rebranding, I think, of the tournament. I do have to be very quick, though, here, because if I'm not quick, I could end up in trouble. Um, gotta be quick, though. I don't, I don't have a quick way through. It goes d4, which I really don't like. Um, that's just a blunder because of queen e4. I'm playing the late title Tuesday. Yes, you guys, I will be playing. It goes bishop f4. Not the craziest idea, but I can also just go queen e4. I can probably take with the queen here. I can take with the pawn and go for a lolly. Uh, let's just take with the queen and go rook e8. Keep it simple. Maybe rook e2. Pretty straightforward. Still not easy. What am I doing? Somehow I've messed this up. Like, I still am better, but it's not easy to win. D5 maybe is a move? I think I'll just go here knight f5, though. I'm just here to pressure the rook. <laughs> he meant to go queen d5 and mouse slip. That means he might be tilted, so maybe I can eke him for a few more. Yeah, maybe I can maybe I can eke him for a few more games. Because that, that reeks of tilt. Let's go here in castles. Sound problem? What's a sound problem? What's what's sound problem all about? I don't know what that means. Just take and go c4. I, I don't know what you mean. Sound problem? What do you mean? Yeah, I don't know what that means. Hikaru tries to not talk about the Roman Empire challenge. Impossible. Exactly. I mean, the Roman Empire, like, what an empire it was. Depends which emperors you want to talk about. Like, who, who are the best, best rulers? I don't know. I mean, for me personally, like, I don't know. I mean, obviously, everyone's big on Julius Caesar, but there are plenty of ones who are, who are okay. Like, I mean, Augustus and, 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 and Julius Caesar are the two top ones. I mean, as somebody who likes philosophy, of course, Marcus Aurelius was great. Um... Let's go A3 and kick the knight. I don't know if this is good. I can play knight D2 maybe and bishop F3. But yeah, I mean, Trajan, Trajan, Trajan and Hadrian are two of the, two of the best in my, in my book. Um, of course, everybody's got to have a very uh, soft spot for Nero, obviously. Uh, let's play knight B5 here. Um, and I can play F3. Worst of the worst, right? Is that even close, actually? Is that even close? Is it even close? Is there anyone who is... As, is there anyone even remotely close historically to how bad... Um, how bad, uh, how bad, um, uh, Nero was. I mean, Nero made good pizza. What? Wait, what? Nero made good. Wait, are you trolling? What? You must be trolling me. I mean, I thought, I thought Nero was widely considered to be the worst one. Nero equals Trump. Okay. Thank you. As always. Yes. I, I really needed to hear that. Um, wait, can I trap the juicer? I can. Can't I? 94. Rook a3, queen b4, bishop c3, maybe? I mean, this looks so dangerous. Yeah, I go here, hit the queen. I mean, he has queen b4, but at the very least, I can take on f6. He'll probably sack the queen if I had to guess. Okay, so now the question is if I take... I think I can just... It's very rudimentary, but maybe just like... Uh, do I not have a way to trap? I guess I'll go here. I know this is working for me, but. Position should be pretty good for me here. 
We're trying to work on what this will be 12 if I win this one. Doesn't this just not work B2 or am I stupid? I just take with the A pawn and the queen. Oh, wait, I can't. Oh my gosh, the queen hangs. Oh my gosh, what is wrong with me? Oh no, I think I messed this up. There's A takes B4 here. I could take maybe and play with the two pawns. Yay! I can also go rook A1. Um, I think rook D3 is better. With like queen A1. No, I've misplayed this, of course. <sighs> Lovely. Get the bishop. I could sack. I can also go king f2. I can also just play like h. I play queen f6 as a question. I don't know. So I think I'm just going to go h4 here. Try to maybe go h5. Maybe try to get a lolly made on g7 maybe. Let's go here. They take. So expected that. Um, take. Yeah, I've I've really butchered this badly. How do I do this? Um F four F five maybe? I'm trying to figure out how I do this. So here maybe F five. I have to be very careful here. Sorry, guys. Give me a second. I need to focus. Go here. Uh, that's Shaq. There we go. Another win. Maybe the twitchy forehead for the 11 months. Thanks so much, twitchy forehead. Okay, eight to go. Let's keep keep rolling. Let's go. G six. Bishop G seven. Okay, I guess I'll keep playing Bishop H3. It's worked so far. Why not? We're eight away from the, the clean 20. Hikaru is too slick. Yeah, I try to be slick. Let's go here in Queen H3, right? This was the idea. Or no, this wasn't the idea. Maybe. I don't know. Who cares? Yeah, okay. Let's go E5 here. I didn't play Queen H3. <laughs> yeah, just don't play Queen H3. <laughs> Don't play Queen H3 and it's all good, but yeah. Um, I could go Knight G4 here. I don't know. I'm going to go for this. I hope I'm not losing. Just making sure there's no way to trap my Queen before I get G5. I don't see it, at least, so. I just want to go G5 and mate him on the H file. That's my only idea. Yay! Castle. Yeah, like G5 is looming large here. G5 and GH4. Very, very dangerous idea. In fact, I think after G5, he might just be lost. That's how bad this is. It's so much a rune magic for the two month resub. No coffee, no nothing. Okay, now it's interesting because I could take with the knight here, actually, go for knight f3. I could also just go G5, but I'll just take with pawn. I just want to go G5. It's actually very easy. It's like caveman style, just G5, just all in, just attack. In your head, excellent, and all night. What? That's just a free pawn? No, looks like a free pawn. Okay, so he's he basically admitted that he's that he can't do anything about this pawn. So now, I guess I just take night before is what I want to go for, like some night before trick. Maybe I'll just. Take and go knight before. Take so I can check check. Classic kebab on the second. They get a Q for the 34. They get a silent disposition for the uh, seven month three. So okay, he takes. I'll go check. I can actually pre move it. It's not good. Uh, 
I think I, I mean, I think I should just go. Uh, C6 allows Rook F2. I have A5 here. Is that endgame winning? Um, I think C6 is winning, but I'm not 100% sure. So I'm just going to go for A5 here. Because if he gets Rook F2, Rook F1, he just trades off all the juicers. Let's take. I mean, my assumption is that this endgame is winning just because of the placement of the pawns and that I can push P. And his king is on the back rank too, which doesn't help. Take. Start pushing the P. Could have played B6 was maybe a little bit better, actually, but I can still take and yeah, just takes, takes, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We get Ulfter Bjorn for the 13 months. Yeah, we're just keep on keep on rolling. Let's just take, let's go here. Let's keep pushing the P. He resigns. Let's keep going. Seven more to go. What is C5? Looks okay or not. It looks wrong. I don't know why. It just looks wrong. I can't really pinpoint why, but it feels... Feels wrong for some reason. It just feels loose. Title Tuesday starts a little bit later. Now, my assumption was that I could play e5 and knight e5. I don't know if I can, but I'm going to go for it because that was my, my first instinct. Let's go here, attack the queen. Blitz is mostly intuition. Pretty much, yeah. 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 The Babylon, some loser. Now, I can play queen d2 here. Um, Why not? Because there's still... That's just a mistake by... Oh my gosh, that's just a mistake by me. I should have played c3 or bishop d2. Uh, that's a mistake by him. He should have traded and then gone knight 6. Because now I can take and he's... I have like a weird triple fork a Just take. Just take. That's bishop c3. And now... I can also go h... He can also take... No, take takes f4 maybe? Maybe. Hmm. I should not have allowed this actually. Kind of stupid by me. Marvin eighty six seventy three just subscribed. Can't believe it's been two years. Happy New Year, Hikaru. I'll take the night. Thank you so much to Zexos for the Prime Tolga. Yeah, thank you to Martin for the twenty four. I have misplayed this, but eh, it's still. I've misplayed this. I'm still better, but it's not going to be easy to win now. Let's go here to hit the pawn. C4, I just take, take. This bishop on A6 is not very good here. That's the one saving grace in this position. Oh, he can just play, oh, he can just, he can just play bishop B5. But whatever, I can still just take on C4. Oh, what? Did I miss something? If takes, I have rook C6. If rook E2, I just take. Oh, I see what he's trying to go for, but I think he's too slow me, or... I have to take, only move. It's gonna get a little bit dangerous. Um, takes on F2. I mean, I have time to go G4 here. I can also play Rook D1. I think I'm gonna go G4. I need to start pushing P fast, though. If I, if I don't start pushing P, I, I'm not winning. Let's go here, b4. I can take and come back. Yeah, but now I take and drop back, which I think he missed, because now I cover and there's no way. And now I'm pushing p fast. We're pushing the p fast and hard here. What about the lonesome loser? Okay, let's go. It's time to start pushing p. Takes, keep pushing the P. Okay, wait. So now he's trying to go F3. If I go B6. What's the big deal? Because I also have a check here. I think, I think I've got check ideas. Like Rook A7, Rook A6, for example, with B7, B8 later. I think I go check and then Rook A6. That's my idea, at least.
He's way too slow, by the way. 30 seconds, way too slow. This just isn't going to get it done. Just not going to get it done. I'll pre-move this. Way too slow. Yeah, he's too slow. <laughs> I blunders that. Rookie 8 was winning. I gambled that he wouldn't do this. That's funny. Yeah, Rookie 8 and B7 was just GG. It's still GG because it's a check. Okay, let's keep going. Six more to go. Thank you so much to Ben Bingle for the 44-month resub. Yeah, as long as I don't hang my king, I'll probably win. I am in his rating range and also slow. Yeah, I mean, I'm sorry, you guys. I mean, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but, like, that's just how it is. I should have played knight h6 first, by the way. I don't know why I didn't. Well, let's go knight e7. Still queen h3 later. I'll play an endgame. Why not? Let's give this guy a chance. Go here, probably rook c8. Why am I why am I saying I want to give him a chance, by the way? <laughs> why do I want to give him a chance? So stupid. Let's go here. Yeah. 30 in a row two subs. So well, I, I need I, I need to take a bit of a break before um before the evening title Tuesday. So that's that's why. I think I'll go here and put the other knight on e6 now. Yeah. Actually, no, I'll go here and hit the pawn. Why not? A little bit more logical to play this and hit the pawn, take this one. Here's rook c1. Um, I have some problems here. So I'm going to go king f7 because there's 97 nastiness that I just can't really allow. So he'll get to take, and that's fine. That's life. Not really worried. Because um, I can always go c6 here maybe to hit the knight. Knight c5, also an option. I don't particularly love my position, but I think it's playable. Because now I get this to hit the pawn. And now I have a4 as well, and I have c6, and I have bishop h6, and I have bishop f8, and I have a lot of stuff happening. Could go bishop h6. I think I'm going to go here to stop knight b3. No trades. Okay, let's go c6, try to force a trade. Bishop h6, there's rook d8 maybe. I'm definitely unwinding this. Like, I should not be much worse anymore, but I'm still not necessarily better either. Go here, gonna go knight e6, knight d4. Now I cover b7. That's why the rook's here. Let's go here. Knight d4, bishop c5, bishop d6. A lot of good things happening for me now. Or not. I missed that. Shoot. I missed that completely. I I I I guess I'll go back. Yeah, this is probably the worst game I've played so far, easily. First time I've played where I think I'm actually in a little bit of trouble. Um, yeah, let's, let's go here. Definitely the first game where I feel like I'm not playing very well. I can go here, knight d4, though. Uh, this is not what I want at all. I think I'll go here. Oh, great. Now I just... Or do I have knight c7? Play here. I don't even know what's going on here. I'm so confused. I guess I'll go here. He's too slow, though, so I should win. Yeah, he's too slow. And now I have bishop f2 also, and I should be winning. Yeah, now I get this, and I win the game. Very dicey, but we're going to win. Oh, he's got knight f1, actually. Never mind. It's not over yet. But he's too slow, so. Let's 
Yeah, now I just win. There we go. All right, 15. Okay, five more to go. Let's keep rolling. Good night, F3. The fact that you card a struggle with 2600, why is it never top 10? <laughs> that's, that must be a troll, right? That must be a good, that's a good troll. That's a great troll, actually. I love it. I love it. Okay, let's go here in Rook D1. Yeah, that's a good troll. Yeah. I'm on a streak of 30 right now. Awesome. So it'll be 35 if I win again. Nice. Good times, you guys. Good times. Um, I'm going to go Knight E1 and maybe Knight C2 this time. Okay, let's just go knight b5 again. I'm gonna play a4, clog the clog the uh, queen side here. Let's go a4, clog it up. Uh, well, I changed my t-shirt style anymore. I don't know what you mean by that exactly, but um, yeah, who knows? I could take. I guess I'll just take one. He takes with a c pawn. I'm actually a little surprised. Or is there c5 here? No, there's no c5. Um, uh, what am I trying? I'm gonna go here i guess i, I kind of want to go queen a1 i kind of want to activate the rook or something but it's not easy to do here let's go here now knight d6 very serious threat to win material yeah and i have f3 somewhere in here but i think bishop f1 looks pretty reasonable just to protect the pawn laterally yeah, thank you so much to Tobias Lion for the Prime. Thank you so much. Okay, he goes there. I think I should play F3. Thank you so much to Rachel Crater for the 7. Thank you, Quiet Guru for the 21. Cold Pan for the 12. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Interesting. Yay! I mean, this just cannot be right. I mean, this this can't be right. I've got too much coverage on the second rank with the Rook and the Bishop, and the Rook comes over too quickly, I think. I mean, I don't know, maybe not, but I feel like I've got way too much coverage way too quickly here on the second file, or on the second rank. Yeah. Let's see what he does here. Oh, wait, this hangs up. Wait, takes, takes, king h1, check bishop g. Oh, wait, I got, I got to make sure I'm not blinding here. Takes. Queen e3, king h1, check, bishop g2, queen f4. Queen f4, bishop d5, bishop b7. I mean, it looks bishop b7. Check, check, bishop g2, queen f4. Bishop b7, rook b8. Bishop f8, king f8, rook f1. No, I mean, this should just be winning. Just making sure I'm not crazy. Oh, he takes with a knight? What? Well, now I can take some threatening mate in two. Yeah, I'm, thre I'm threatening mate in two, so. But I just have way too much coverage. I mean, I've got the rook covering the second rank. It's way too much coverage. Way too much coverage. So, all right, we're going to get another win. Move to 16 out of 16. If takes, I just take back. Yeah, it's just winning. He needs some ops or more pieces. So four more to go, you guys. Four more. Do I think that's enough coverage? How many times did I say that? Yeah, like 50 times. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much to that Gotham Noob for the 10 months. Thank you so much Gotham Noob. Okay, now the goal is just basically trade off pieces. Let's go Queen D1. I mean, he's trying to attack me with a lone queen and a knight. That's just not going to get it done. Go here. Go here. Hit the knight. So much coverage AT&T wants to sponsor you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's keep going. Four more to go. I think we, we can play four more against this bro, right? Four more should be doable. Let's go here. Does NRK have cover more coverage than you? <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. I mean, NRK has done some good things, by the way. Like, like no, no caps. Like, they've done some good stuff. Their coverage has been pretty phenomenal um, of some some of the top level events. So they've done a good job. Yeah, they they've done some good they've done some good stuff for chess. Um, go here, knight guards the pawn. I have f6, e6. Position looks very, very decent for me. I can go e6. I can also move my knight at some point. I'm just gonna play f6. Kick the knight out. Uh, I have e6. I have e5. Actually, I should not have played it like this, though, because now 
this is okay, kind of. Kind of okay. I don't really like it that much, but I think it's kind of okay. At least here, I've got a structure where I can move my knight around, but I'm not, I'm not enthused by it. Yeah. Uh, big fan didn't see your answer. Uh, wouldn't you find it suspicious others play with headset? No, of course not. Go knight f7 and c6. But to answer your question, I'll just give you a very plain and simple answer to that. If chess.com feels that it is an issue and they make rules where headsets aren't allowed, I won't wear a headset. Um, but at the end of the day, people also forget that I beat Magnus Carlsen a speech at championship without a headset in 2022, which I think that in and of itself speaks volumes. So that's the simple answer I'm going to give you guys. Um, I can take and play knight d6. I can play rook c8. I mean, chess.com thinks it's an issue. They can say something. They can change the rules and headsets aren't allowed. Plain and simple. They clearly don't think it's an issue. So if they don't think it's an issue, why is that my problem? Let's go here and takes, takes. Um, this win streak is very unlikely statistically. I know. Tell me about it. I know. Very unlikely. Speaks volumes or it speaks for itself or whatever you want to say. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're saying, it could be, you're saying, oh, it could be, it speaks vol. Ha ha. Ha ha. You're right. I missed that. That's a good one. Good one. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, no, that's not what people are saying. They're saying they're, they're saying that when I say the volume, they're talking about volume in a headphone. That's a good one. I didn't think about that. Yeah, I, I missed that pun. That's a good pun. Yeah, I missed it because um, I'm too stupid. Okay, let's see. I'll go rook d8, probably knight d4, maybe c5, b5. Um, let's go here and takes, maybe c5, b5. No, I mean, the point, as I said, I beat Magnus Carlsen. I beat Ding Loran. I beat all those guys in the speed chess championship in 2022 um, without a headset on. In 2023, Ali Reza had a headset on, um, and then he was told he couldn't, and I was told I couldn't either. So, of course, both of us stopped having headsets. So, I mean, there's really no drama, honestly, as far as, I mean, I know people are probably trying to make drama, but there's no drama. Um, I have to be careful how I play this because I've kind of misplayed this a little bit. I think I'll go here. It's not easy to play. Um, I'm going to go here and maybe try to play C4 if I can. Oh, I could have played Rook C6. Why didn't I just go Rook C6, Rook C8? What is wrong with me? I could have played Rook C6, Rook C8. Oh, I'm such an idiot. What, what the heck was this? So stupid by me. Okay, I'm still going to probably win this game, but I've, I've made a real hash out of this. A real hash. Go A4. Still going to win, but not happy about this. Thank you so much to Annihilate Prime for the resub. Okay, it goes Knight F3. And I could go back. It's a tricky position here. But he's got a lot of time, so I do have to be very careful here. It goes E5. I mean... I don't really want to take... But I think I have to. I think I have to do this. I don't want to do this, but I think I have to do this. It's not what I want to do, but I think I have to. I mean, I could have played Bishop F8 too, I uh, guess, but it's going to be tricky. Let's go here. Uh, I feel like he doesn't know what he's doing, by the way. Because now I get my Rook into A3. I go here, of course. Here. I mean, it's still probably not great for me to play this position, but I okay, it goes rook c4. Wait, but now I oh no, not king b5. Let's go here. I want to go king b5. I want to take there's knight d5. Maybe it was still okay though. It was because I could have played rook b3. If I take take and play king d5, that's probably winning actually. Because f7, I have rook a7. Go here, hit the pawn. Oopsies, there's a check. Oopsies, everything collapses. Another win. Okay, three to go. Let's keep rolling. Go here, here. D4, of course. Okay, we're three away. Three more, you guys, for the, uh, wh whatever you guys call it, double adoption. Mm, I don't know queen a5 threatens, so I'm just going to play queen c1 or rook d1 like I already have. Time to reroute the knight. You call it the double ding. Uh, double, no, that's not what you call it. Let's play knight d3. Take with a bishop. I could take with a bishop or the rook. doesn't really matter. But I feel like knight e4 maybe is a threat. 
Um, play, mm, I think I'll just go here. He's going to go a5 anyway, I'm sure. Goes there. Okay, I'll drop back. Go here. Okay, let's go here, I guess. I didn't think this worked, actually, but I, I guess I'm going to sack material here. Um... What am I doing? I think I'll take and go here. I've misplayed this. It goes there. Yeah, I've completely bungled this like an idiot. It goes knight d7, however, which I think might be a slight mistake. Do I have bishop d1 here to try and hang on? I think he made a mistake, because now he might have to take. So if I get the knight to b5, he might be in trouble. Goes knight e5. Okay, so if I... Oh, wait, knight... Ah, it's mate and one. Hmm. Knight b5 hangs mate and one. Let's go here. Mate and one. Jeez. Gotta be careful. This is the this is the easily the most dangerous game I've had so far. Easily. Don't want to trade, but I don't have a good move. I might have to play Queen B2 here. All right, blundered. He could have played queen c4. Yeah, I'm starting to actually slip quite a bit. Yeah, I'm starting to slip. I can feel it. My play has really gone downhill suddenly. Like, these last couple of games, I've played very, very badly. I had rook, a, rook, rook b7, which I also missed. Maybe miss is too strong a word to use, but... Okay, let's see. If I go here... Good news is he's still a little bit slow. Should have played f4. Sorry, you guys. I must focus here. How do I do this? I guess I'll go here and try to push. I don't know what I'm doing, by the way. We found that move very upsetting. Not good. 
Not good, but it's a win. Two more to go. Let's keep going. Let's go G6. Not good. Very, very bad. No, no queen h3, by the way. No, no free queens here. Let's not hang our queen. Let's go f6. No, no free queens. We're not playing the game called queens. Are can I go queen h3 here, by the way? I actually think I can for some reason. An e5. A knight g4. Oh, he doesn't even. Wait, do I have knight g4? Wait. Knight d5. I'm going to go for it. I think it works here, doesn't it? I go g5. It's a little bit risky going for this, by the way, because if I'm wrong, I'm going to lose the game. But I can always just kick his knight with e6. Do I have to? No, I don't have time for e6. Let's go here. No, he's in time here, actually. Or is he? Wait, no, I've got e5h. It's still tricky, actually. Still very messy. I don't actually know what's going on. He goes d4, but... Okay, wait. Now I have e6. I don't understand. I go e6 and takes. Knight c7, gh. Excuse me? What? Okay, my queen is temporarily trapped on h3, but uh, if this is if this isn't winning for me, I will be I will I will eat my hat, my non-existent hat that I don't possess. Um, okay, let's go f5. I'm threatening to mate him with knight f3, classic lobster pincer type stuff. I mean, <laughs> if this if this isn't winning. I don't want to play chess. There's also rook h4 looming too. So I take queen g3 mate, rook h4 with the classic pinny pin pin on your chinny chin chin, and this is gg. Bada bing, bada boom. Win the queen or checkmate on the file. Okay, uno mas, uno mas, you guys. We've got one more to go. One more for the big uh for the for the big finale. And this time let's get back to base with e4. I, I'm gonna play the same line. I thought I outplayed him. I'm going to go for it again. I, I don't believe him. Let's go for it. I'm going to do it again. I I, I, I got to do this. Yeah. Cramer getting his calculator as, as I, out as I type. Yeah. I just want to see it because I don't believe him. I legit don't believe him. Yeah. Oh, he gives up. So he gives up. He gives <laughs> he gives up. He gives up kind. I mean, doesn't give up literally, but he kind of gives up by playing this. Yeah, kind of gives up a little bit there with that. That's like I don't know how to defend it. I'm just going to give back the piece. He's somehow he's still up a pawn. Wait, how's he? Oh, I guess cuz it's a Mori, he's somehow still up a pawn. Okay, let's see. I can play bishop h6 maybe. 94, 95. Again, I've got quick development with these rooks. And the knight's jumping fast. We're going to 5 hit the bishop. I mean, it's still probably a little bit better for black, but not easy to prove. Think of Garlius for the prime. Think of Garlius for the prime. It's probably slightly better for black, but I, I don't think this is clearly better. Yeah. Yeah. It was bishop g7. Whoa, wow. Whoa, wait a second. Is there knight g5? Um, knight g5, king g8, queen c4, e6. King g8, knight e6, maybe. I don't see it, but I got to go for it. Um, queen c4, e6 is no good. Takes. Probably I should play knight e6. It's not the move that I want to play, but I should probably play it. 
I also really don't want to trade, but I think I kind of have to go here. Still feels like I should be a little bit better. Like queen c3, rook c1, pressure on the king, great, great bash in the middle of the board. I did not expect, uh, check he's got, no, but I've got knight c7, wait. Okay, let's go here. I don't know if I'm better here, but I feel like I've got a lot of play. I actually don't have a lot of play, lovely. Okay, let's just go here. Should have just played rook d1 right away. Okay, I'm gonna go f4, try to open up the center of the board here, do something. He's getting low on time, though, again. So I, I have pretty good chance to win, I think. Let's take... Probably takes with the knight. He takes with the rook. Okay, let's go... Go here. I have a 50-50 gamble on the next turn. I'm debating whether to go for the gamble or not. I have a 50-50. Let's go for the 50-50 with h3. He saw it. I, I was hoping he wouldn't see this. Still figure I can probably find some way to win. Let's go check. Try to gamble that he wouldn't play rookie a, but he did. Uh, what am I... Now I'm just actually blundering. Now I'm just throwing the game. Oh, great. But he's low on time. Forty, thirty-nine, thirty-eight. If only I could play knight g four and made him, but I can't. I have to go here. This d five, which I absolutely hate. Considering the time situation, he's insane to play d five here. Absolutely insane to go d five. I think, or maybe he's not insane because pieces do stay on the board. Which actually, I don't. Maybe that's a good thing for him. I don't know. Um, how do I do this? Knight d four is a move. I don't want to play it. I'm gonna go here. Here, I guess. It's too slow. I'm I'm very lucky. He's too slow. This guy had any any speed whatsoever. I would I would be nowhere near where I am right now. Yeah, he's, he's just too slow. And now I bl he blunders. He's just too slow. Very lucky. Very lucky. Very very lucky. All right, you guys, so that gets us to an even 20-0, bumping our rating up to 3270, which is pretty good. I am going to go take a short break for a little bit, so I'm going to take like 30, 35 minutes, just clear my head, go get some more food, and go from there. So I'm going to take a short break. We're going to put a video up while I take my break, and we will be back um, very shortly. So let's, let's pull this up. Here we go. Do you like avocados?